Well, hello everybody. Boys and girls, it's when we feel like an o'clock and I'm Pearl of Wisdom and you're listening to the Mind and Show, Pearls of Wisdom Show, B-Pow Picks Edition. My, the other edition is live every day, weekday, from 3 to 5 Eastern Time, 1 to 3 Mountain if you live where I live. Most people live Eastern Time apparently. Anyways, you can catch me live where I talk about all the hockey stuff going on in the land. Tomorrow, I will be with Peyton on the radio. Can you see that? I will be with Peyton on the radio. I'm pointing and you can't even see that I'm pointing. I'll be with Peyton. I'll get this is when you know things are happening. You got to grab your pen, right? Peyton on the radio, finest in the land. Maybe more people. We'll see. But Peyton... He's showing up for sure. Go check him out. He's got an awesome channel too. Peyton on the radio. Okay, so NHL picks for yesterday. We'll take a look at them. We got one going on right now. Um, not too bad. It, there's a couple weird, there's some weird things going on in the NHL, but we'll discuss that. First of all, I got some letters. And uh, thank you for your letters. Guido goes down every morning to the mailroom. Uh, he grabs his stack. Get, gets all the letters and puts them in a sack and he grabs a sack of letters and he goes up. We got stairs. And he goes like that. Just like that. And then he comes up into the room to our, the, where we have this the letter table, we like to call it. And he pours the letters all over the table and we all do the Perlo dance. Everybody, Helen and uh, Hernandez and Melissa, if they're not in the Perlo copter, sending you your my NHL pearls of wisdom necklaces and all that and we uh, there's much frolic there's much frolic in the land sometimes I even get Caroline my wife into it sometimes you can do it too someday you comment in the comment section and I'll send a pearlocopter over to you and we can do the pearl dance together also I'll give you a free month of uh, BPAL picks which I'm about to give you right now a whole bunch of picks Anyways, the letter. Are you Hawaii? Spelled H A W E I from Malaysia. A lady from Malaysia wrote a letter saying asking me, do I think the Leafs can win the cup this year? I'm very surprised that AU Hawaii is a Toronto Maple Leafs fan or whatever. But the answer is I do. Um because I think they're going to do some more movement. I think they still need help on their D-line. Uh, they're depending on their top uh, six a little too much yet. Come playoff time, that may become a problem. But I do think it could be the year for them, for sure. And uh, Torben Blaine from Sweetwater, Michigan. Uh, we There's lots, but they asked... Uh, how do I get you? Uh, how do I get to, on to the PayPal and Patreon? It's very simple. I put the link down in the bio. You go down there, hit the link, and it'll show up. And it'll show you this packages. If you want a free month, you choose the twenty-five dollar package, and I reimburse you. And then write just write in the message goat. Or in comment section, tell me I, I saw your video or whatever. I will give you a free month. Then you do it like that. If you don't want the free month, if you just want to donate and be cool, like all the cool kids out there, you know, you know the cool kids, the ones we used to hang out with by the bike racks, they wouldn't take the free package. No, no, they would take one of the other packages. We have a five dollar, a twenty dollar, and a twenty five dollar package. They're all cool. In the $25 package, you get parlays and uh, more picks. Just more picks in general and the best picks. So, okay, let's go look at yesterday's stuff, shall we? Thank you for your letters, everybody. And subscribe right now. Right now. Do that. Try it. It makes you feel good on your insides when you do. I find. Okay. Um, let's go to... What are we going to do? I'm looking for the scores. Scores right here. Scores for today. What did we have? If you remember my video, I was said I was fading this game.
but I kind of leaned the Panthers and the Panthers won, and I liked the under, and the under came in. I didn't put that in as a pick. There was a reason why that was, because Florida was playing five games in seven nights, uh, which should have made them tired, and the Stars were rusty. And now I'm going to remember in my bank, hard-working team like the Panthers playing five games in seven nights can take a, a Stars team that seems pretty disheveled this year. I don't know what's going on with them. But I, my friend Rickett from Rickett Picks, he had this as a pick. Should go over there too. He's got a Patreon. He's also got a uh, just look up Ricket Picks on YouTube. Freaking awesome capper. One of the best ball cappers, maybe the best ball baseball cappers I've ever seen. Go check him out. He's awesome. Uh, Lightning versus Hurricanes. We had the Lightning ML and the over. So we did pretty well there. Uh, nice pick. Uh, tough pick, though. Hur Hurricanes are playing so well. It's just that they were playing a lot of games, so we did that. Islanders versus Sabres. I messed this up. I had the Sabres. I just had a feeling. It's one of those gut ones. I should have Sabres PL'd, but I, we did have the under on the video pick, so that was good. Um, hard to go anything but under on, on. Oh, and you know what? Was it five or five and a half? Tell me in the comment section. I saw it for five and a half, and I saw it for five. It would have been a push then. Here's where I really messed up, and I didn't see it coming. Mostly because they didn't wait till the last second to tell us that Hutchinson was going to be a net for the Leafs. So I told all my patrons in the land, take the over. Because, uh, you know, Flames are going to score. Not to mention, uh, they had the Flames decided to go with Riddick. And Riddick, who went through a, uh, a spell there where he couldn't stop a puck. Well, it looks like he's out of that spell now. So uh, probably when he's in, I'm going to be taking a closer look, not giving him as giving him more respect is what I'm trying to say, giving him more credit than before. Anyways, burnt this game, wasn't good, had the over, had the Leafs and Reg, had it on large pearls, but good thing. We also had the Kings to win on medium pearls. I almost went on reg on this one. I should have went in reg. That would have been wonderful juice. But we got really good juice on medium pearls on here. Uh, so medium play, solid pick. Had medium pearls on the avalanche here, lost out. Small pearls on the, un on the over, lost out. Wasn't a good night that way. I'm really impressed with the Golden Knights. Now, uh, I earned, they earned my respect a little more in this game. The Avalanche are a cracking team, and uh, although they were on the road, I really thought the Avalanche would have more of a showing here. But the Golden Knights played really well. Simple as that. Can't take anything away from them. Now we're watching another game here where we had the Coyotes in regulation for large pearls. Uh, oh, in, in my picks thing, I think I had the Avalanche, yeah. Uh, we had that, and we, we had the under, so we don't get, didn't get that, but that's just small. Like, don't, when I say small pearls, I mean like small pearls. Just throw it a little bit. I'm not confident, really confident in the under. I was actually kind of like going back and forth on over, under, over, under. It's just hard to go over with Gibson and Kemper and Net almost any time. So, meh. It is what it is, but we got. It looks like it's going to go, and we might not even get it here. Uh, it's all. It's four three with ten minutes left. So who knows? I didn't think Anaheim was even going to come close to this. They got a few lucky bounces. Um, I think uh, somebody knocked it in their own net, or was that the Colorado game? Yeah. Um, but anyways, own goal. Then we got Minnesota Wild over the Sharks in regulation. Again, large pearls on this one and small pearls on the over. So we'll see how that goes. But no, overall, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. So we'll go to tomorrow's games now, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah, I just got to find it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Everybody just take it. Get your chakras aligned. That should be aligned there, right? Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but people do it, so I thought I'd try. Um, Chicago versus Columbus. 
Columbus is a very disheveled team. I just like to use that word, disheveled. If you don't know what that means, it means off. They're not in their normal state. They are uh, still trying to get about, trying to get their chakras aligned. That's it. They need to get a shot. Maybe they just need a spanking at Perla's house to spank. In fact, they do. Melissa, oh, you're, you're still here. Melissa, would you please go in the Perlocopter and get all the Columbus Blue Jackets in the land and bring them to uh, Perlo's house of spanking and get their spankings for tomorrow? Actually, no, not tomorrow. The day after tomorrow because we're taking Chicago tomorrow. So we're taking Chicago tomorrow. So we're not going to, you know, get them straightened up now. <laughs> that would be silly. Or I guess we could do that and then take Columbus. But nah. We'll wait. Wait till the day after. It's okay. We'll we'll pick them up after the game. Okay. So Columbus, I'm taking Chicago. Chicago's getting killer juice. Two fifteen. This line is moving. Uh, Columbus keeps on getting better and better juice all the time. Corpus is in net. They are without Rorensky and Savard, two of their top four defensemen, and they're not looking like a team with very good energy. Chicago is also just with, with a few injuries that they've been dealing with for a while, but Strom is out now as well. So I went and checked. I did it. You don't have to do it yourself. I went and checked the uh, what the lineups look like, and I still think Chicago has a lineup that can be effective against this Columbus lineup, especially without Savard and uh, Wierenski on D and Corpus Salo in net. So I'm taking Chicago. I don't think they'll be... Uh, I, Lankinen's playing so well. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. So I'll probably go... I would probably say the under here. Total's having all gaga this year. But um, yeah, I'll take the under. That's why under over it could be either way. You could see either way. Uh, Corpusalo. Chicago. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't think Columbus is going to score a lot tomorrow, though. So I'm going to go the under. Under, yes. Pittsburgh versus Washington. Tough game. Pittsburgh just keeps on winning in weird games. Washington has been much more inconsistent than I would like. Uh, Pittsburgh, did Pittsburgh get... Uh, I should have checked this before, but... We'll check if Pittsburgh here got, uh, might as well while we're here, let's look at this too. Washington, oh, look at the games Washington has played. Four games and six nights, but then they just had two days off. And then they're playing at home. So they had two days off from a long road trip. This should be okay. What's Pittsburgh like? Uh, Pittsburgh's played more yeah i'm going to take washington here ml um i'm not even too worried about the injury situation but i'll take a look at it anyways just to have fun because it's fun this is nbc sports it used to be called something else but it's nbc sports now it used to be called roto world i guess they must have sold themselves out this guy's probably made some scratch off of that um Washington, Washington, Washington's pretty much, and Samson off is supposed to be in that. For sure, i got to go with Washington over Pittsburgh. Demolin is still out. Ricola could be back. It looks like they got a few defensemen back. And not getting Ricola back. Yeah, I'm still going to go Washington. Pittsburgh should be tired here. Going to be resilient. Uh, I imagine... With Samson off in net, Pittsburgh being tired, this is going to be six and a half, are they giving? Six and a half? I like the under. I'll, oh, sorry, here, six and a half. I like the under on six and a half, and I'll take Washington ML for 175? Oh, no, 183. Okay, that's pretty good juice. I'll take that. Ottawa, Montreal. This one scares the crap out of me. <laughs> Ottawa's playing so well. Um... Montreal should be should be looking at a comeback game here. Um, Carey Price has been off. 
Ottawa should be playing Murray. Murray's been playing really well. I'm really concerned about this game. Is Ottawa going to win again against Montreal? You're not getting enough juice on Montreal. I don't even know if I'm going to play this. Because the last time I took Montreal because Shabbat was out. Shabbat is still going to be out. Montreal, however, will have gotten some rest. Okay, I'm going to go Montreal, but I only want to go ML, and you're only getting 145. I'm not comfortable going in reg here. Uh, what's the over under? I uh, total. Okay, under under six. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go. I'll lean the under here, but I'm probably fading this game. But we'll go Mont Montreal ML in the under for the sake of the video. Buffalo, New Jersey. Buffalo on a back to back. I'm Jersey all day here. Jersey all day, uh, and because Buffalo's tired, and I, they better have Blackwood in net. This is going to be the thing. Go over to Patreon, guys. Sign yourself up. If things change, I I let people know. You get you get that opportunity to have to for people to tell you when things are changing. But New Jersey getting one eighty three. Yeah, I'll take the ML on that. I like that play with Buffalo being back-to-back. -back. Oh, that's right. Carter Hutton should be in net. Go the over. Over five, five and a half. Carter Hutton's a poopy goaltender, man. He went and got his eyes. He said something was wrong with his eyes, and he had surgery on his eyes and stuff like that, and that was going to change things, and it hasn't. So, and then Edmonton-Vancouver. Fady, fady game, man. They have Kukuk. Uh, Everybody loves to say Kukuk, right? Uh, Bear and Lagason injured off their D. Uh, they got a lot of people playing high that shouldn't. I don't mean literally high. Defensemen playing higher in the lineup that normally wouldn't be. Uh, and Vancouver, I have no faith in them. Demko will probably be in net. Corpusalo will probably be in net. I, the over is going to be six and a half for sure, and I think you got to go over. With Edmonton having all that defense, Vancouver should be able to pot a couple, and uh, Edmonton has been rolling. Um, there was another Yamamoto might be out too. So, wow. Tough one. I'm taking Edmonton ML. I said over. I'm not even sure. Uh, over, I guess. I'm just saying over, but I, I don't think I'll, it'll be a pick. Well, boys and girls, that's our 42% right. Dar. That's all I got to give. And uh, I've had so much fun. I've The frolic, I'm just feeling all warm inside, knowing that you all got your picks. Right? Right. So send your letters, subscribe, go over to Patreon, I'll put it in the, go have fun. It's, this is the thing. If you go now, you're going to get not only the rest of this month, because there's only a short amount of time left in the month. I'll give you the month after that for free. If you put your parlays in the comment section, just put a parlay. If you know what a parlay is, you take three teams, tell me what the odds of those teams are. Whoever has the most points at the end of the month, and so far we don't have anybody, will get a free month of Patreon. So you could man, you could from our PayPal picks on Patreon. So if you signed up now, you could and win and win a parlay, you could actually get two months free of Patreon. Well, how are you gonna lose? How are you gonna lose? And uh, yeah, so do that. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.